That's fifth in the NBA as a team. That was Royce O'Neal with the three. Maladon goes right into the All-Star and the veteran Conley. And now getting ready to finish out this regular season with this homestand. Two final games. As Maladon, little stutter step once again, getting inside, and he pushed it up right over Gobert just in time. And, and, and they've stayed right up there. They played some good basketball and have stayed relatively healthy until the latter part of the season. Maladon's deep three over the outstretched arm of Conley. Right, and, and that's what you have to really want to try to get back to. You know, even though you have some key personnel missing, you want to come out and, and, and you know, you get hit in the mouth, you got to swing back. As Baisley looks to go right at Bogdanovich. As Maladon able to shed Conley, and he left it short. And we'll get a loose ball foul on Moses Brown. It was a little show and go, too, as he was blowing right past the defense. Boy, that is a tough drive by Maladon. Brown has to get out of the key, does so. Baisley swings it back down to Maladon. Can't notch his second three. And some of the skills that he's been able to, to showcase. As Mihailuk knows he's going to have to heave it up. He does so, and he does beat the buzzer right in front of the Utah bench. You know, almost like he, he just gets away from the defense with that little edge. Sends it back out to the perimeter. Maladone off on the three. And right now, Utah's play, playing very small. Gobert's out of the game. Favors just took the shot. Is in for him. That Utah second unit. That's come in. Maladon realizes nobody's around him and pulled the string on the nail. So Utah quickly comes back. And Maladon forces the steal. Disruptive on that two foot pass. Mahailuk. And he had it taken away. And it's tough because they pass the ball very well. They shoot the three very well. And that's a nice shot by Maladon. 14 point game with three minutes left to go in the first half. And how about Maladone keeping his hands up in there? You know what he wants to do, hang around that basket. His game is no mystery. Maladone makes sure he's behind the tape on the three. A bunch of years, 33 years old. And Maladone putting together a solid first half. This free throw will put him in double digits. Maladone has done a good job of just getting away from his pressure. And that's what led to that foul by Conley. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Came ready on the night. Bogdanovich fading. Long rebound to Maladone. Picked up behind the three-point line. Well, how about that spin he had that time on Ingles? Trying to dictate terms with the ball in his hands. Conley trying to keep him in front, but Maladone, the slick pass to an open Pokashevsky. Beautiful, beautiful. Making sure if you're going to make the pass, make sure it's a crisp on the target and not let it kind of just lob it up. Because that's where you get in trouble. No, no question. He was the man. Knocked down eight threes. If he can be that kind of producer for Utah in the postseason, they're a different team. Jazz weren't able to score. Baisley keeping his dribble alive. Sets it up. Maladon. And his floater, no. Bradley continues to do work inside on the offensive glass. The NBA life, practice, preparation, training, everything. Even getting more time in and familiarity with your teammates is very difficult when he gets around the basket. Allen unfortunate to retain possession. Spots up and eyes the three. Clarkson wheeled his way up to set the screen. Ingles clanks the three. Clanks the three. With Maladone surveying. Now putting his head down. Nice tag. Tail Maladone. I think everybody is ready for the postseason. And that is right around the corner. A couple of play-in games that'll be starting up the following week. Aiden Horde, who Mark Daniel has been very complimentary of for the minutes that he's put in, haven't always been consistent because he's been making plays like that. Well.